Hey guys, it's Zuri and I'm going to show you my Valentine's Day look. Even if I'm not going on a date, if I'm at home by myself, I'll still do this look because I want to be romantic and feel good and be ready for whatever. So let's start. The first thing I do when I'm doing my makeup is skin prep. As you guys can see, I have some acne scars and hyperpigmentation from puberty. We just can't help it. This is life. So I always start with a sheet mask. It's always a little bit gooey, but it's fine. Mm. And then I'm just gonna peel. Then all you want to do is, mm, I'm glowing. And then you have to pat the serum in. I know they say be gentle, but I'm like, you know, I want to really get it in there. I am obsessed with lip balm. I'm kind of a lip balm addict, but I always exfoliate. So you just grab a little lip scrub and you can make this at home, like sugar, honey, and you just want to exfoliate. Some glow. This is like some glowing serum, but it just makes the texture so bomb. I love a good textured skin. If we're talking about date nights, like I think I went on my first date, like in my, like, last year <laughs> literally i don't i mean i'm fine with it i mean you have to kiss a lot of frogs but you don't really right now i'm putting on some moisturizer which is oils it's like squalene and a little bit of rose oil i've never been afraid of oils even though i have acne prone skin i want to moisturize my face so it doesn't feel like overproducing like there's you know there's science there's science involved i forgot my most important step the step i'm obsessed with which is lip balm i need my lip balm oh, i can't believe i forgot i keep like four on me it's crazy um but i'm using i actually really love balm.com by glossier that's my complete skin prep at least on like a chill day <laughs> honestly part of doing your face and making it look good is feeling relaxed and just focusing on you for me my skin takes the most time because i have a lot of covering to do but i like to do it in a way that keeps it light so i focus on the areas that need coverage i'm going with my fave full coverage foundation so i've been doing my makeup since i was maybe 14 I like started having acne and I like could not stop touching my face so it scarred so then I was like hmm like the way around this is makeup if you really want to get rid of your hyperpigmentation there's a lot of things you can do you know you can do laser you can do peels all that stuff but makeup is an amazing alternative for me it's a temporary fix but it allows me a lot more freedom so I'm just going in with a mixture of a bunch of my colors <laughs> I'm the type of person who I'm gonna make sure it's like buffed into the skin so that it still looks like skin. Also, a lot of foundations, especially for people of color, it can change over time. So you might have a little bit of oxidation, you know, it might look yellow at first and then it looks red by the end of the day. You have to find a balance. You have to do what is right for your skin because there's so much different tones in your skin your skin is not one tone and now i'm gonna go in with a bit of concealer under the eyes and i'm using nars radiant creamy concealer i kind of like that look i'm gonna go in with walnut over some of these other areas honestly eyeball it as they say in cooking like it doesn't have to be perfect you know you can just blend that's another thing with foundation, it will get anywhere. If you hug someone, it will, like for this date night, okay, if you're going on a date and the person's wearing a white shirt, beware. You have to hug them like this. Like be like, mm, hi, oh. <laughs> when I was younger, I would literally only smile on this side. I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, and then my aunt was like, why are you doing that? That looks crazy. I'd be like, that's my good side. So I'm gonna go down with some of that concealer down my nose too. Again, not really super highlighting, but just, I like to do it. And then you just blend. What I do is I put on an album that I really love and I see how long the album is and I just take that time to do my makeup. And once the album is done, I'm like, and I'm done. So now I'm just blending everything in. 
I'm just gonna add a little bit of light into these areas because that's gonna bring everything together and just add that last pop that you need right there cool find your cheekbones because you have them so I like that contour I think that's pretty cool in these areas I like to go in with a foundation like a powder foundation just very lightly you don't want to overdo it but it does help give a little extra coverage especially you know if you're gonna be out late or whatever you're doing it helps mmm dab dab and I just get oh you see I'm pretty sure it worked and then I blend down and then boop, 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 boop. la all right, cool. So I'm gonna go back to framing and I'm gonna do brows. I'm using Brow Wiz. I just let my brows do what they want to do. So I'm gonna get real close. And it's so funny that we have to like open our mouths when we're, whenever we're doing stuff near our eyes. We're always like, so. Then I like to bring it up a little bit to give myself a small arch, but nothing too dramatic, like honestly. All right, so I'm just gonna brush up, keep that natural vibe going. So I'm going in with this guy. All right, so. Also, if you have any blemishes that are raised, you want to avoid hi highlighting them. So I'm just gonna try to go around that little guy. All right, I like that so far. We're gonna go in with some more. This more dries like a little bit more powder-like. My favorite part of the routine is my blush. Cause that's what's gonna do. I don't know it just makes me feel romantic and cute and I don't know I love it favorite blush breath of plum it's like this pinky beautiful gorgeous and I go on the apples and I put a lot yes I put a lot of blush I love blush I can't help it so let's bring a little bit over the nose like just a little bit I love all sorts of blush liquid powder cream Blush is blush, blush is life. I'm gonna go in with a wash of that, which is on my hand. I swatch everything before, so that has a little bit of a green tint to it. For me, I'm not that skilled with eye makeup, so I just use my finger until I feel like it's where I want it to be. I kind of want to do a little bit more shadowing, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my contour color. So I have hooded eyes a little bit, so honestly, whenever I, I typically go in with like really simple eye looks because when you have hooded eyes, things kind of can get lost. Yeah, so once I'm done this, I have lash extensions, so I don't wear mascara. Um, I have really small lashes, so lash extensions help me because when I'm getting ready, it kind of already looks like I have makeup on. This product, by Dior. It's so cool because it's a scrub. So you do this, it's exfoliating my lips right now. And I'm gonna take a little bit of lip liner and just line a small amount, petite line. And I don't really overline, but I just accentuate a little bit. I don't know why this is my favorite lip color. People always ask me about it. It's Stone by MAC. I've been wearing it for years and it's my life, so. Let's just put a little bit of that on, and it's super buildable. But then I just blot, 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 blot. Because I want to look blotted. I love long dates, like dates that are like, you just start and you don't know where you're gonna go, you don't know what you're gonna do. You're not just sitting down at some dinner. Like I like a date where it's like an adventure. So that's what I'm getting ready for. Like with this look, I feel like you're always gonna be a little bit naturally candlelit, no matter what like light you're in. I'm gonna go in my last little highlight here before my gloss. So you can see how it kind of melts into the blush. So the blush kind of moves down a little bit because you put that highlighter right underneath the eye and I love doing that. More blush, just a little bit. I mean, you can stop if you want to, but I am going to continue on my journey with blush. I take this gloss, put it on my hand, get it really warm. <laughs> you see that glisten do you see the effect it gives such a good effect do you see it what oh my gosh i get really excited about my glass okay then you dab it might not look like anything now but once you step into your light you will see the difference and a little bit of that on the tip so subtle but i think it makes a difference 
as I said about the scars, so we're just going with a little bit more coverage. But it's fine if some of it shows through. It's like, give me a break. I'm human. Like, that's the thing. It looks like I'm putting on a lot of makeup, but it doesn't at the same time. So it works. So this is my date night look. I've done my hair in this kind of romantic curl that I really like. So I'm going to pull that down. Final, final steps. I promise. I know I probably did like a thousand steps, but gloss bomb. Fenty Beauty. It just adds that last glow. Like it, now it matches the cheeks, you know? Thanks for watching me. Get ready and enjoy your life.